Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan and welcome to Food Diligence. Today I am joined with my friend Dom. Yo. And my friend Jimmy. Hey. And we're gonna try three different ramens in the Cleveland area to tell you which one is the best. So, let's go get some ramen. Woo! Alright guys, we are at Noodle Cat in beautiful Crocker Park and we're gonna get some <laughs> It's cold! Alright, all right. No. Right. So we're gonna, gonna get some ramen, right. we'll see you guys in there. Oh yeah, no, this is not, this is not the move. Bright side is, it only comes out from here. Oh, let's go. Okay guys, we just finished eating at Noodle Cat and we wanted to reconvene in the car to discuss how we felt about it and it was disappointing to say the least. I thought your 99 cent <laughs> cup in a ramen was better than Noodle Cat, to be honest. She ain't sparing any words. <laughs> it was very salty. To, uh, let's, so let's, we're going to go through the three categories of the meal. So we're going through the broth, the noodles, and the meats. So the broth, I thought, was extremely salty. And I didn't even have the saltiest batch. I think Bam's was way saltier than mine. Oh, Bam's was terrible. Tastes like salt water. He left. He took two bites, I think, and left the rest there. Oh, yeah. It was just horrible. Real bad. It was not Disappointing. Recommend. Uh, noodles wise, I didn't think it was anything too crazy. The noodles were soft, but had a little bit of um, fluff. I thought the noodles were fine. They were, they were okay. They didn't do anything special for me, but there was nothing wrong with them. Just the broth. Really, it did. Yeah. Not to keep, you know, coming back to it, but it just put a damper on everything else. And then last thing we're going to talk about is the meat. So the meat was... Pretty good. It was a uh, solid uh, pulled pork meat, but I just don't feel it's a ramen meat per se. Like it's something I would put on a sandwich maybe, but it just didn't feel didn't feel like it belonged. Yeah, I mean taste was good, also salty, but per broth mainly, yeah. It's just that was it. Didn't belong. Yeah, it would have been a better experience if the broth wasn't salty. There you have it. Uh, All right. None of us even ate the egg. It was brown. No, I took one <laughs> bite of the egg and it was saltier than anything else. And I just hope I don't get food poisoning at this point. It's like point. the worm at the bottom of the tequila. The egg just trapped all the sodium. But there was still sodium left in there, so I don't know. Bye. Disappointment. <laughs> We're on to Otani. It can only go up from here, guys. Yes, I sir. promise you. So one thing I want to talk about with you guys is the last time I was at this location we currently are in is it was actually Noodle Cat. And so Utani has replaced Noodle Cat in downtown Cleveland. And honestly, it's funny and ironic. I was with him last time I was there. So it was a full circle, honestly. It's pretty funny. False start. Fall start. All right, we're guys. We're at Otani Noodle, and we're gonna taste this. So cheers. Yeah, that's what a proper bowl of ramen tastes like. Savory. Got that umami. Mm. Good toppings too. Oof. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a fun time. These two come here once week, every Wednesday. It's true. It's true. Home sweet home. <laughs> Broth, really good. Um, savory, definitely not too salty. 
just overall really, really good base. Just the noodles in this thing were the only thing that I would critique, honestly. They're a little thin. They don't have a, the, the depth you want in a noodle, per yeah. se. Like, kind of al dente, kind of hard. Yeah. They didn't catch They didn't hold this, like, the, the broth, like, a, like a thick ramen noodle. Besides that, I thought everything else was pretty good. Meat, proper uh, ramen meat, for sure. Fit, fit right in. Perfect, yep. perfect cooking, no. Nothing overdone, nothing too salty. Yes. They also put corn. Oh, yes. You need don't, corn. You don't get corn in your ramen. You need, you need some help. You're doing something wrong. You don't know what you're about. <laughs> I think the corn could be optional, but whatever. Oh. Hot take. Yeah, <laughs> wrong take. But that's okay. Only thing it's missing for me is a fish cake on top. Mm. I think that's about it. Uh, we're going, what's the next place called? So the next place we're going is uh, Shinji. Shinji Noodle Bar. Oh, oh, there you go. We got Bamba. But uh, yeah, so it should be good. Um, none of us have actually ever tried that place, so this will be the uh, true icing on the cake and see if someone can snatch this uh, crown from Otani because it's going to be hard to beat. Once we finish eating at uh, Shinji Noodles, we will reconvene and give you a full in-depth breakdown of all three places and why we think one is better than the other and so on. So we'll see you guys at uh, Shinji Noodles. I mean, yeah, okay, guys, we're currently at Shinji Noodle Bar and we are about to try our last ramen of the day. So let's get some ramen. All right, guys, so. Oh, the only way to, to sum this up right now is I'm just disappointed and I, it's I'm disappointed for a different reason than I was at Noodle Cat. Noodle Cat just gave me an inedible bowl of ramen and this place I had so high expectations for because I wanted it to be better than Otani. I wanted to have some kind of competition going on but honestly they got our they got our order wrong. We got an appetizer that was almost inedible and then the ramen itself was just mediocre and that's the one they got right so. at best pretty disappointed in the ramen too i think otani noodles might be the winner here so we're still gonna break down the three uh categories of this ramen so broth wise i think the broth was okay it had good uh savory aspects to it but the one we got to try was the spicy broth which was way too spicy and not at all what we ordered and then the second one was a garlic tonkatsu broth was good but it was just missing something in my personal opinion i didn't get the right ramen unfortunate uh even for spicy like, i don't not like spicy so i can still judge it uh i just felt like they just poured a whole bunch of hot oil in there and called it a day the only option they had was pork belly too for their proteins oh we're not there yet oh we're not there yet no my bad just guys broths my bad thought the broth was rich at least it wasn't overly salted <laughs> the noodles noodle wise i think that this place had the best noodles of the bunch but not by much the noodles were still kind of underwhelming and i know it's an unpopular opinion in the car but i like the noodles because they held the flavor a little more but they still weren't thick enough for my liking and they're still a little underdone for me oh that's the exact opinion of the car underdone oh, underdone but better texture than otani honestly best noodle probably a noodle cat actually honestly i would I'll not give him that you. i'll give him that i thought the noodles were pretty good protein wise and other toppings the pork belly was solid for uh pork belly there was no other option so i guess you if you're only gonna have one thing you might as well make it well they put corn in it yeah i'll nice give them corn in the ramen uh, I'm not a big fan of pork belly, so it was really disappointing seeing their menu and only having a pork belly option, especially considering, I don't even know if that's necessarily the most popular option, but uh, especially if you're gonna call yourself like a noodle bar, I feel like you have more than one protein option, but. Yeah, I agree with Dom here, and they should have more protein options instead of just one pork belly. So it was really disappointing at the end of the day. Just wasn't much to really go off of, and 
choose. To break this solemn mood, I guess, uh, let's break down our three places we went to and just power rank them. So for me personally, I'm gonna put Otani Noodle at number one, I'm gonna put Shinji Noodle at number two, and then I'm gonna put Noodle Cat at number three. My ranking would also be the same. Otani first, Shinji Noodle Bar second, and then Noodle Cat third just because it was inedible. I also remember fam saying the exact words of I will never step into Noodle Cat ever again in my that life. That is correct. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of a controversial opinion here. Number one, obviously Otani. Like Otani, amazing, love you. Um, number two, so I've actually had Noodle Cat in the past and normally it's quite edible and mad at best. I'm actually gonna have to rank Noodle Cat number two. Today it sucked. Get your act together Noodle Cat. But no, I'm gonna give number two. Number three, Sinji, is that the name? Sinji Noodle Bar? Not very good. And for the price, too. And for the price, price. Was, it was the most expensive. Yeah. It was $14 for my bowl. It wasn't even a big bowl, honestly. I feel like I had half of it and I only had like three bites. <laughs> Our half bowl at Noodle Cat was the same amount as this full bowl, which was yeah. twice the price. Mm -hmm. And our bowl at Noodle Cat was $6. So that's why it's giving me rank number two. Uh, they had a really off day, almost inedible, but... Inedible for some of us. Inedible <laughs> for some of us, that is true. But the same but can be said about here for us, because... I didn't eat mine. All right, guys, make sure to like, subscribe if you like the video, if you're still here. Um, let us know in the comments what other places uh, you'd like us to compare. Uh, right now we are in the Cleveland area, so, you know, we're going to be limited to that. But the, one of the benefits is Cleveland is that it is very diverse in its food choices. Uh, but like I said, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up and uh, make sure you turn on that bell. It's been Ryan. You've been watching Food Diligence. Be diligent.